Hello friends, in today's video we will learn how to find out the angle between the two ends of a clock at a particular time. For example, this time is 8.30. So what will be the angle of this particular time? And if we know the angle, what will be the time? So there are two types of questions possible. Number one, time is given, we have to find out the angle. And angle is given, we have to find out the time. So in this case, let us start, let us try to find out the angle between these two uh, hands of the clock. Now, before I give you a formula to find out this, let me explain a particular concept. The R hand moves a complete round in 12 hours. So in 12 hours, the minute R hand complete 360 degree R hand, complete around in 12 hours. So in one hour, it will complete 30 degree. And or uh, in one minute, we can say that in one, one minute, it will cover 30 by 60. That is half degree per minute. So the speed of R and is 30 degree per hour or half degree per minute. Now, if I talk about minute hand, the minute hand covers a complete round in just one hour. That is 60 minutes. In 60 minutes, it covers, it covers a complete round. So in one minute, it will cover 360 by 60, that is 6 degree per minute. The speed of minute hand is 6 degree per minute, speed of R hand is half degree per minute or 30 degree per hour. Using these two values, now minute hand is faster, R hand is slower. So what is the relative speed? As they are moving in the same direction, the relative speed of the two hands will be 6 minus half, 6 degree for minute hand and half degree per hour hand. That is 2, 6, that two, uh, 12 minus 1, 11 by 2 degree per minute. So this is the relative speed. Now using this relative speed and this uh, speed of hour hand 30 degree per hour can create a formula. Formula is that the angle between the two hands is given by 30 H. H is the time in R minus 11 by 2 M. 11 by 2 is the relative speed and m is the time in minutes. For example, here, in this case, the time is 8.30. So this is h and this is m. h is 8, m is 30. Why so? Because at, by 8 a.m., the um, many, our hand is, has already traveled 8 into 30, 240 degree. And now the minute hand is following the our hand with the speed of 11 by 2, relative speed of 11 by 2. So in every minute, it will cover 11 by 2 minute uh, it was the R hand. Now let's use this formula and find out the value of this angle. Theta is equals to 30H minus 11 by 2M. Here this mod sign is important, modulus sign is important because there are two angles, one this and the second one is this one. And therefore we need plus and minus, negative and positive. Here the time is 8.30. So put the value 8 in the hour and 30 in the minute. 30 into 8 is 240. And 11 by 2 into 15. 11 by 2 into 30 is 11 to 15 is 165. Now subtract this to 10 minus 5 is 5. 13 minus 6, 7, 75 degree. So this angle is 75 degree. And this angle, this the flex angle will be 360 minus 75 and that will be equal to 280. So we can find out the two angles. One is 75 degree with the help of this formula and second by subtracting that angle from 360. Now let's use this particular formula to find out the angles. Now, this uh, is a case where the two hands meet. That is, the angle is given. Angle is given as zero degree. They are overlapping. And we have to find out the time. After two, what is the time when the two hands will overlap? Let's put the formula theta is equal to 30h minus 11 by 2m. Here, there are three variables. And we know the value of two variables. Theta is zero degree. H is two. Because we know that we have, uh, we have crossed the two mark of uh, r. But we don't know the minute, how many minutes, after how many minutes, after two, the two hands will overlap each other. So this is zero, but it was a 60 minus 11 by 2M. 
So 11 by 2m will be equal to 60. And m is equal to 120 by 11. And this is 10, 10 by 11. So the time is 2, 10, 10 by 11. Now you can convert this 10 by 11 into minutes. By 10 by 11, we can convert this into minutes. Minutes is already there. We can convert into seconds. 600 by 11, 10 by 11 into 60. 11 for is a 55, 11 for is a 44. So this time is 2, 10, 54, point something. So after two at 10, 2, 10, 54 seconds, the two hands of the clock will overlap each other. And we can find the time after every hour, what time they will overlap. For example, after three, what time they will overlap? Put the value here is three. So this will become 90. This will be 90. 90 into two is 180. 180 by 11 is 11 ones are 11. 70, 11, 6, 66, 4 by 11. So after 3, it will overlap at 3, 16, 4 by 11. Now converting 4 by 11 to seconds, it will be 240 by 11. 4 into 60 is 240. 11 to is around 20, around 20, 21. So the time at which the two hands overlap after 3 will be 3, 16, 22 seconds. So that will be around somewhere here. This will be the time when the two hands will overlap each other, zero degree angle. And after every hour, we can find out what time they will overlap. Now here, there uh, I have given a question where there is an angle of 90 degree. What is the time? Although this clock is showing the time as 616, but we have to calculate exact value when the angle is 90 degree. Now here, there is the time after six, and there are two instances when the two hands are at 90 degree. So first of all, let us put the formula, the TH minus 11 by 2M, and the angle is 90 degree. 30 H is six minus 11 by 2. Now here, the modulus will come into picture. 90 is equal to 36 the 180 minus 11 by 2M. Now it can have two different values, plus and minus. Plus 90, because modulus will give two different values. Minus 180 upon 180 minus 11 by 2m, and this is 90 degree plus, and then minus 90, 180 minus 11 by 2m. So 11 by 2m will be equal to 180 minus 90 is 90. And here it will be 11 by 2m, 180 plus 90. Now let's solve this equation, 11 by 2m is equal to 90, so m is equal to 180 by 11. We have just calculated this as 11 ones are 11, 70, 11, 6 are 66, 4 by 11. So this time is 6, 16, 4 by 11, and the two hands are at 90 degree. Now second instance will be 11 by 2m is equals to 270, and m will be 540 by 11. So m will be 11 fours are 44, 49, 1 by 11. So this time is around 6, 49, 1 by 11, when the two hands of the clock are perpendicular to each other. So 90 degree angle is subtended between 6 and 7 at 616, 4 by 11, and 649 by 11. Now 180 degree angle, when the two hands are just opposite to each other, 180 degree. Again, we'll apply the same formula, theta is equals to 30H minus 11 by 2M. Angle is 180 degree. When the two hands are just opposite to each other, angle is 180 degree and it is after 1. So we'll put the value of H as 1 minus 11 by 2M. Now here, if I take the positive value, the answer will be negative. So we'll, I will take minus 180 degree. 30 minus 11 by 2M. You can see that if I take positive value, it will be plus 180. When it will go that side, that side, 30 minus 180 will be negative. But here, we want a positive value, so we have taken minus 180 degree. 30 plus 180 is a 210, so 11 by 2 m is equals to 210. So the value of m will be 210 plus into 2 is 420 by 11. And this time come out, comes out to be 11, 3 is a 33. And uh, 42, 33 is 9, 8 is a 11, 8 is a. So this time is 238, 2 by 11. And if you want to know, Time in exactly in seconds, 2 by 11 multiply this by 60. 
that will be 120 by 11 and that will be around 11 around 11 so 238 11 is the time when the two hands are just opposite to each other one 138 it is 130 138 11 is the time when the two hands are just opposite to each other so hope friends you like this video like our videos and subscribe to our channel